Hi YouTube. So I'm gonna start out with the announcement. Uh, Sun Dry Girl wanted me to tell Freedom Nomad that she had heard about the video that he had done on her, and she wanted me to thank her from the bottom of YouTube. I mean her heart. And um, anyway, she can't get online. Uh, I guess they got some bad weather up there. Um, something anyway is causing her not to be able to get on YouTube to watch it. But she wanted me to let you know that she's trying. Okay, with that said, I'm going to continue to the to the roof thing. Um, so anyway, this guy also lives in the camper. Uh, he has the same type of roof. And uh, claimed to know what he was doing when I hired him. And uh, I provided Cool Seal and Eternal Bond Tape, which is $50 a roll. Uh, Dicor at at least ten dollars a tube, and I told him if he wanted me to get him some white uh, patch, roof patch. It dries into like a hard cement. These things were made for these roofs. Okay, so anyway, I told him I wanted no black at all on the roof, but that. Definitely, no matter what, not to put anything underneath the tape because it would not stick. The roof had to be cleaned with alcohol, had to be cleaned good, taped, then caulked. Then if you want to put a little bit of the roof patch and then cool seal over it. This is what I told him. Um, even referred that maybe he should watch a YouTube video because he kept insistent on black. And, uh... So anyway, after he started doing the work, he came off the roof and he said, the only way that I can fix the leaks is if I use a little bit of black. Okay, well, there was only two leaks. Um, so I said, as long as you don't put anything under the tape, if you do a thin layer of the black, it might dry. If you do a thin layer of black on top of the tape, which I didn't want that, but he insisted it'll dry, it won't leak, the white will cover it, the cool seal will cover it, you won't see it. Um, so I finally gave in to him using it just where the roof leaked at. That's not what happened. He used it from one end to the other around every single vent around the edges where it didn't leak because around the AC unit didn't even leak until after he was up there so anyway I had paid him for the job I didn't look at it until after it rained and I had a leak and then I texted him and he said that Tom the 70 year old man with bad knees was going to finish the roof he needed the money because I was going to give somebody, you know, the roof was in bad shape. I was going to give somebody, well, I thought the guy that was doing it, extra money. Um, I said, okay, well, I'll just give that extra money to Tom. So, anyway, Tom started over there on my daughter's RV. And he got the tape along the front and the back. And then he... Anyway, when I went to ask him about it, he, he said he just couldn't do it. His niece was too bad of shape. So about this time, his son and daughter-in-law pull up. And he said, well, how about, um, you know, they, they can do it. So anyway, I spoke to the girl for a good while. She appeared to know what she was doing and talking about. Um, and everything she said I agreed with. So, anyway, she got up there, and she said that she took all the black off. Well, first of all, again, after a hard rain, it leaked. 
So, come to find out. Anyway, she didn't take all the black off. Um, underneath the tape where that tar didn't dry, lift it up. So there was water all underneath the tape. So, now, I've got probably $200 in just tape. That's ruined. So, me and my daughter's trying to do a little bit at a time. But anyway, long story short, they were supposed to come back because I have two more campers that need done. Um, and they did put one coat on the other camper. Anyway, she made like she needed money for food and, and some bills. So, dumb me, trusting people, actually paid her for the roof next to me that they only put one coat on, didn't talk, and didn't put the second coat on, but paid her for this that ended up still leaking. And come to find out, my ex-boyfriend told me later, see, I thought maybe, because I knew something weren't right, and I thought maybe they had like a pill problem. A lot of good people, unfortunately, y'all, has got this pill problem. But generally, if they have one, they'll work. So, anyway, I didn't think much about it. Well, I still had my daughter's RV that needed to be done. And that one over there to be finished. Um, anyway, they came up and needed like 20 bucks. They was going to come back and go ahead and do the second coat and caulk. So, this was before it rained and I knew that my roof was still leaking and, you know, whatnot. So anyway, try to make a long story short, uh, I gave him the 20 bucks. Uh, they didn't come back. Now prior to that, that same morning, which my ex-boyfriend didn't tell me till later, so I had no clue, and this was when I decided they weren't coming back. Uh, he had went out there, they, they were sitting in front of his camper, which is right next to mine. And she was burning something in a spoon, and he had a needle. So at this point, I'm like, oh my God. Whew. So when they left, that was it. I cut my loss, and that was it. I decided then, you know, I'm just going to have to get up there and... and do what I can, and uh, my daughter wasn't here, so anyway, finally, me and her, hopefully, y'all will get these roofs done, because you just can't find no good help these days, and I got damage on the inside, too, not real bad, but you know, a couple wall, small area walls and, and ceiling in the cabinet needs to be replaced back there in the bedroom, well, FEMA would help me. But I can't even get anybody to come give me an estimate, let alone fix it. And they said I had to have an estimate on what it would cost to fix. Well, if I can't get an estimate, you know, <laughs> then you can't get help. So, anyway, long story short, uh, that's the roof deal. So, um, y'all, I just don't know, this, this world these days has just went to hell in a handbasket. I mean, it, it wasn't like this in my day, you know. I mean, people worked. You know, they was told to be there at a certain time. They were there. They, they did their job. They went home. You know, if the job wasn't right, and hey, we all make mistakes, uh, they came back and fixed it. I mean, I just, I don't know. The things I'm seeing in the world today uh, is just unbelievable. So, I'm going to tell you. Hey, if y'all want to pray for me, I need all the prayers I can get. And, I, and I'll tell you something. I, I, I'll be straight up with you. I don't care what religion background you come from. I don't care if you're an atheist. I don't care what you are. 
I don't judge no one. I get along with everybody. But I am a Christian. And don't judge me. Because I've seen on another person's channel where someone says something about God. And somebody went off and then that person apologized and appeased them. No. Sorry, y'all. But I'm not, I'm not that person. I'm going to defend what I believe in. And I believe in God and I believe in Jesus Christ. And that's just the bottom line. And I'll defend it. I don't care if I have any subscribers. I'm going to defend what I believe in because that's who I am. I was raised different. You know. I was, I was raised that you don't lie, you don't steal, you don't cheat. That's the way I was raised, and that's what I believe. And so, if anyone has a problem with my beliefs, well, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry for believing in God. And, if you know, if you're atheist and God offends you, you know, well, then you're at the wrong channel. You don't offend me because you don't believe. Um, you're the only one that's going to have to pay for that in the end, not me. You're not offending me at all. Um, by that. And I would never call you out. Um, at the same time, you know, I ask that you honor my beliefs. I honor yours and I ask that you honor mine. That's just the way I am. So, all right, y'all, so that's the story of the roof and whatnot. Uh, y'all have a good evening. I, as you can see, I'm tired. Probably got bags over here under this eye, and, which, y'all, I do have lupus. Um, they say it's mild, but I get these little bumps under my eye. Um, I had <laughs> my nephew thought. Someone had given me a black eye, and he was ready to come from uh, Baltimore, Maryland, down here to North Carolina to open up a can of you-know-what. <laughs> and I said, no, Michael, uh, I don't know. I, I don't have a black eye. Nobody's assaulted me. Um, so, anyway, that's another discussion uh, that we can talk about later. But, anyway, y'all have a good night. Uh... I wanted to mention, because Sun Dry Girl asked me to mention it, y'all, she's okay. She's just not able to get upload any videos or get online. So y'all don't worry about her. She's doing okay. Uh, we talk all the time. She's great. Um, Javier, her little cute, little beautiful dog, he's doing good. Um, he's getting better. He's had his checkup, and uh, the vet says he's all good. So... All right, y'all. Have a good evening. Bye now. Okay, Erlina. This this is for you. With your cheap quick meals. Well, guess what? I got me some Lipton soup here. It's my special recipe. Ha ha. I put butter, some grated cheese, some salt and pepper, and then I took some of that French cheese toast bread and broke it up in there and this is my cheap fast dinner and it ain't bad considering it ain't as good as what I seen your wife cook but doggone it it'll do alright just joking with you you know got to joke with the other youtuber sometime yep cheap fast and stick to your gut recipe and sometimes I'll even buy the other little tiny noodles, the Italian noodles, and put in with it. Because more than the juice, I really like the noodles and the flavor of Lipton box soup. So everyone, I'm watching Scrooge and, uh, you know, not my Christmas tree. My candle smells like pine. Mm. Then I got my peach cobbler with whipped cream. Yum. Hope y'all are enjoying your evening too. We'll have a little chat later on.